enter the term 2017 Ford F-150 into Google's search engine, and we bet that, by the time you type the second F, the search bar will auto-complete your query to 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. Well, if your internet history includes a heavy focus on cars, as ours does, it might. Even if the world's biggest search engine seems to be eagerly anticipating that high-performance off-road truck as much as we are, there is a little bit of Raptor to look forward to in the regular 2017 F-150, because the Raptor's new 3.5-liter twin-turbocharged V6 and 10-speed automatic transmission are headed for the latter S option sheet. More gears, even more power. On a macro level, the 17 F-150 is the same as the 16 model, which means the new EcoBoost powertrain is the headline news for the nameplate. The new EcoBoost V6 replaces the first-generation 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6, which has been optional throughout the F-150 lineup since 2011. With only 375 horsepower and 470 pounds to foot of torque, the pedestrian duty F 150S Seco Boost represents the lower state of tune for this engine. We are still waiting on final power figures for the Raptor, but it is guaranteed to have far more than 400 horsepower. Everything is relative, though, and even the regular grade 3.5 is certifiably meaty, edging out its predecessor by 10 horsepower and 50 pounds to foot of torque. Ford calls the Seco Boost all new comma and indeed it carries over only the old engine S4 center dimension, piston displacement, and cylinder liners. The block is new. The turbos are new, the cooling system, which features new flow paths and a higher volume, higher rate water pump, is new, and the fuel delivery system now employs both direct and port injectors for improved emissions and more power. The engine comes paired exclusively with a 10-speed automatic transmission co-developed with General Motors. The unit cleverly packs its six clutches and four planetary gear sets into a package barely larger and heavier than the six-speed it replaces, and its ratios and internals are shared with the General Motors version. The bell housing is, of course, unique to Ford No, you can T-bolt the Camaro ZL1 S10 speed automatic to an EcoBoost, even though their inner bits are identical as are the transmission software and shift strategy. The 10-speed S ratio spread, at 7.4, is wider than the 6-speed S, but not by much. First gear is shorter than its 6-speed equivalent, and 10th gear is slightly taller than the old automatic S6. The arrangement promises quicker off-the-line acceleration and slightly lower engine revs at highway speeds. As before, the 3.5-liter EcoBoost is the de facto top dog engine in the F-150 lineup packing far more peak torque, an additional 83 pounds to foot, than the 5.0-liter V8. Like the V8, the Bass 285 horsepower 3.5-liter V6 and the mid-level 2.7-liter twin-turbocharged V6 EcoBoost both go unchanged for 2017 and keep the 6-speed automatic. Perhaps more Eco, definitely more boost. We really like the F-150S previous combination of the 3.5-liter EcoBoost and the 6-speed automatic. The powertrain provides plenty of thrust and is nicely polished, which was enough for us to give it a win in a recent two-truck comparison test with the V8 powered F-150. That EcoBoost proved quicker than the V8, more comfortable towing, and smoother in operation but, crucially, it was more boost than Eco. The other 3.5-liter EcoBoost F-150S we retested failed to post appreciably better fuel economy numbers than their 8-cylinder counterparts, despite higher EPA figures. Final EPA estimates for the new engine are forthcoming, but as before, they should be higher than the V8 Model S. Ford can claim up and down that its EcoBoost offers the best of both worlds fuel economy, echo, and power, boost. But even with the efficiency boosting measures applied to the new 3.5-liter EcoBoost, we predict the 10-speed automatic will do the heavy lifting when it comes to improving the truck SEPA ratings. Credit the 10-speed as smaller steps between gear ratios, which help keep engine speeds low more of the time. 
step onto the F-150S gas pedal lightly, and you can easily accelerate at a normal rate, that is, not holding up traffic, without the engine braking 3,000 revolutions per minute. This is key, because the 6-speed S wider gaps between gear ratios encouraged higher revs from the old EcoBoost to build speed, thus keeping its turbochargers in the boost more of the time. The 10-speed, on the other hand, makes it easier to avoid dipping too far into the throttle in normal driving, which should improve the EcoBoost's real-world fuel economy. Don't underestimate extra power, though. As one Ford engineer put it, the additional 50 pounds to foot of maximum torque is great for foot-to-the-floor drag racing or towing, but it also means there rest more off-peak to work at the lower engine speeds where many drivers spend most of their time. Should you want to poke a stick in the Echo Boost, though, the transmission is game to help provide maximum thrust. Floor the accelerator, and the transmission clicks off clean, firm shifts about 400 revolutions per minute shy of the indicated red line. We retold that Tabork falls off precipitously between about 5,300 revolutions per minute and the 5,750 revolution per minute fuel cut off. So Ford programmed the transmission to short shift and keep the engine on boil. As for the engine itself, it feels pretty much exactly like the outgoing 3.5-liter EcoBoost, with more punch. You can T have too many gears. Clever software tuning keeps the transmission as multitude of gears from feeling busy or shift crazed. In part throttle acceleration, the computer skips gears, typically starting in first before jumping to third, then fifth, and then going quickly gear to gear, sixth, seventh, eighth, etc., as the driver eases off the gas pedal upon reaching the desired road speed. The same thinking applies to downshifts, with the transmission taking greater leaps say, from 10th to 8th to 5th to 3rd to 1st rather than shuffling through every gear as a vehicle slows to a stop. This alleviates the juddering sensation common in other Mega Gear Plus transmissions that try to keep pace with the driver's braking when downshifting sequentially through lower gears. There are really only two scenarios during which the 10-speed will shift sequentially, and they cooled and TB more different. The first is during wide open throttle events, from a standstill to top speed, where the transmission wins out each gear all the way. The second is, essentially, the pass fuel economy test cycle. To replicate this kind of throttle input in the real world, you do need to place an eggshell between your foot and the gas pedal and then attempt to accelerate the F-150 without breaking that shell. We only explored the full throttle method. For the ever-critical towing aspect of trucking, the 10-speed though s and disappoint. We drove a 2017 F-150 with the big dual-axle trailer that Ford claimed amounted to 9,900 pounds of ballast back-to-back -back with the 2016 model with the same load. Although we can T-speak to the V6S power advantage over its predecessor, the 10-speed holds a clear edge. Its extra ratios afford more options when downshifting, such as when descending a step grade, and the shifts are even rev matched in tow, all mode for maximum smoothness. The 6 speed, by comparison, is slower to shift and feels lumpier when selecting a lower gear, it can also be caught out trying to choose among gears. The only wrinkle in the 10 speed desk suit is occasional part throttle hesitation when shifting out of third gear when it seemed like it was searching for the next gear but taking its time doing so. Ford says the transmission's programming is nearly final, and that this issue is on the chopping block. We LL have to wait for a full test to see how effective the combination of the new V6 and the 10-speed is at quickening the F-150 and improving its fuel economy, but our first impressions are positive. The Raptor stake on this powertrain will be hotter, for sure, but the everyday version will serve far more buyers as a $2,095 option on the base, regular cab 2017 F-150 XL, with the longer 8-foot bed and costing between $1,300 and $2,095 on more expensive trim levels, it is standard on the F-150 Limited. Already, 
the 2.7-liter and 3.5-liter EcoBoost engines power nearly 65% of all new F-150s, with the V8 and the base non-turbo V6 duking it out for the scraps. This new version and its 10-speed automatic should continue to tip the F-150s sales mix in favor of EcoBoost.